some of the stuff I was reading had an end of yesterday's game was like, oh, now that we have Mitch in, because Tom had made the decision yeah. over the weekend that, hey, we're going to rule yeah. with Mitch over Mason. Like, that we're done. Like, season's over. Offense is going to be terrible. Mitch is the worst QB. Mason's 500 times mm-hmm. better. I just didn't know when we got to that point through all this. I was it, The three picks made it. Like Mitch went out there and it had negative three hundred yards passing first Baltimore. That's that was the energy that I had took from it in terms of still a nation. My thing with Mitch over his last couple of appearances since he was benched, uh, I've been more impressed than disappointed. I would agree. The three picks terrible. Yes. Can't have that. That that's the most obvious thing. Mm-hmm. Everything else he was doing, he wasn't exactly doing in those first three weeks. He was more mm. conservative, and then. He flipped the switch and was taking some of those shots, showing off the arm talent a little bit more. Yeah, I which agree. I was liking. It's just all right, honing the three picks, which is what he did in this Panthers game. But also, that is why the conversation has shifted that Kenny can't do these things because they were saying how no. George Pickens, George Pickens' last outing with Kenny Pickett, and how that whole ordeal worked out, and then you see Mitch Trubisky back to back games, stretching the field. George Pickens involved and all that type of stuff. And they like, see, it's because he can actually get it out there, whereas Kenny can't. And they say it's because he has baby hands. They are really stuck on the hands part with Kenny. But they say that is why we need to have a guy like Mitch or neither one of these quarterbacks are the answer. We need to go ahead and get somebody new next year. That's I'm just reporting the news, D. You know me. I just report it to you. Well, and then fair. I, I want to see what Big Deke got to say about this. That's all. But that's that was what they said. Absolutely fake news. That's that's they were they Do were heavy on it, man. Forget some of the passes bro. Pickett was making. The Pickens his first. They were heavy. Like on two it, three man. weeks in as a starter, they were heavy on it, man. We were loving it because Kenny yeah. was stretching the field. He was just tossing him off the Pickens. We were said, like, but, why wasn't Mitch doing but this? They whole said, time? But they said he's become conservative because of the turnovers. They said, Pickett. Yeah, they said now he's just, just trying to win the game. But people don't like that. They wanted to look a certain way. That's definitely the 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 the, the one thing that I've definitely taken over these past. They want to win. Pickens a dropped way. a wide open one against the Bengals that hey, would have got us back in the game. It was hey. like three four minutes left. Hey. It was an absolute dime by Pickett. Hey, hey, hey man, I'm with you. I'm it's with you. But they they that's what they say though, man. Pickett could have made every throw that's, Mitch made yesterday. I'm just letting you know that's every what they throw. say, man. Is there any? Well, that's, I guess there are questions about that's it. That is what they're saying, man. They're, they're saying that your boy can't make those throws, and that's why Mitch can, and that's why the running game looked better in these past two games. I'm telling you, bro, that's what they said. They was literally like, bro, the running game looked better yesterday because we were able to throw think, the ball. I think yeah. it looked just as good as the other yeah. three times when they the running like, game was good. They were like, oh, see, when you can stretch to feel like this, this is why I'm like, oh, okay. If I did, that actually slowed up in the second half. Yeah. Now, Mitch mm-hmm. performed whenever we needed the yeah. passes and we needed the third down conversions, mm-hmm. keep the drives going. He stepped up. You got to give credit where credit's due, but yeah. that's not, not, not that's nothing that Pickett can't yeah. be doing. And but they, I don't think the run game was necessarily better because yeah. of Mitch this game. And, and and the whole hands thing, they still they are stuck on the hands thing too. Falcons game yeah. running game was good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saints game running game was good. Colts oh, game oh, running oh, game this, was this, good. This is another quote. They said that he short arms or duck passes more. Than any other quarterback in the league, right? Now. Any other starting quarterback? They Pick said, it. yeah, they said he's short arms or or he he has like the little wobblers. Yeah, I they just said, don't have, I don't have time for that's, that. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. With he that. made one bad that? pass against the Falcons. That's it's uh, it kind of short heart hop mouth. That's that's the only pass I can remember out of bro, all of them. They they said he leads. I'm like, bro, I didn't even know it was a stat. Like, who's checking this? Thing? You know, I'm not a I'm not big on the stats like that. But that was. <laughs> Who was brought up? I'm like, yo, what? That's so I wanted to. I wanted to make sure I remembered that to ask Extreme you your news. thoughts. So, Pickett okay. is QB one. Okay. There's no doubt about it. And now you were saying there's people trying to stir up some competition controversy because now QB they're one? saying after because this game of what Mitch was able to do and his stretching the field. Whereas when Kenny, when did he stretch the field so much? He had one, uh, and this isn't ripping on Mitch, but. He had the one you, bomb to pick. And this is how people do it, though. He had some nice this passes how, over the middle, but I wouldn't it. necessarily say it was stretching the field. They, they were like 15-yard passes. But they're saying last week and this week, he did stretch the field. He was just that's, passing to Deontay the whole time. But that's what they say, saying, bro. They saying your boy didn't do that. He didn't just pass to Deontay the whole time. He didn't just throw to, to George Pickens. That's why they're saying they don't think he is capable of that. <laughs> It's just foolishness, dude. That's why what game I, I do we want to look at? I just want to ask you, man. I, I It kept coming up on the space. I was like, bro, is this really a We'd thing? We'd go to the Falcons game because Pickett kept passing yeah. to Deontay a ton. Mm-hmm. That's when the whole Pickens controversy came yeah. about. He overthrew Deontay on that on like, little fade yeah. route for a touchdown in yeah. the third quarter. 
Tried to take the mm-hmm. deep bomb to Deontay was getting hit as he was yeah. throwing though in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Overthrew Pat on one of those in routes in the zone. You, I you think, talking right? to a dude that I'm always on the man. I like what Kenny has been doing. I'm like, yo, he's progressing. Like it's not a debate. Like I think that he's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing as a rookie. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But yeah, man, they were definitely on that. I'm like, bro, how did we get there from yesterday? Yeah. No, I mean, the only yeah. way Mitch could have made it a conversation was, I mean, if he goes in and throws for 404 touchdowns, right. but that didn't happen. Yeah. He did everything that Pickett has been doing thus far, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. But Pickett's our first round pick, and I think Pickett provides the upside. And yeah, I, no. you stick with Pickett. Like, it's not well, even. Well, the decision's already been question. made. That's yeah. my thing. I'm like, man, you're not. That's heck no. Mitch. That's what you're supposed to do right now, and you did your job. In fact, you might have put yourself in a good situation, man, for somebody else, right? But, yeah. Pickett's going to be Kenny. Kenny's going to get the opportunity, absolutely. Pickett is the guy. There was nothing that Mitch did yesterday that Pickett can't do. Even in the Ravens game, too. Yeah. There's nothing that Mitch did there. Pickett can't do. Pickett would have, in my opinion, based off how Pickett was playing, he wasn't throwing those three picks. I'm just letting you know for a fact, bro, they don't think your guy has the arm strength to make the throws that Mitch was making. That's that's for a fact. The the, the in way, yesterday's game, I'm just I'm what bro. They they do not think, and I'm like, how do you not he feel like Kenny can throw? throw? I'm like Kenny Pickens can make those. In, yeah. I think the Jets game, the yeah. one that Mitch threw to. Yeah. But once again, that was early on. They're saying since he's cut down on the turnovers, he doesn't throw the ball deep. Like I said, I think he's just yeah. trying to win. Yeah. He's simply trying to win these games. We're we're running the ball good. I told we you, got a man. whole nice offensive as system. As long going. as we win it and not turn it over, I'm cool with whoever. You know me. You you more of a quarterback snob than I am. You don't like Kirk Cousins. I'm cool with the Kirk Cousins. I'm cool with the Jimmy G. You don't, you're not even fond of that. So yeah, you know your standard even is even higher. I just can't believe this. Yeah. I don't know where people are getting this yeah. from. So yeah, that's why I just wanted to report the news to you. So thank you, Big Deke. It's just for, foolishness for that, for, for that that update. Yeah, it's just foolishness. Don't let them get to you, though, man. Don't let them get to you. I think Pickett will prove me right as time goes on. Yeah, because seven would prove you right. And that's why you were able to have this elite level confidence. Now, do you have concerns in any way, shape, or form that eight won't deliver the same way that seven has delivered for you each and every time that you've come to bat for him? Different players. But, no, I think Pickett's going to prove that we made the right investment in him. He's going to be our franchise guy. All right. Say no more. Say no more. I like it. AJ Martinez, what was Marcus Allen doing in the Panthers huddle? Yeah. Making a bad decision. That's what he was doing. But hopefully for him going forward, he won't go back into the huddle. I don't think he's not going to not do anything else. But just don't go back into the huddle. Don't be a repeat offender there. AJ Martinez, God bless to all. Thank you to my son, Tony, doing the rap. Man, shout out to Tony, man. Absolutely. Next, Lou Boy. Am I right on this? Yeah. 10 got, deep yep. ball. Mm-hmm. Had them playing off coverage. Mm. 18 got footwork. Two weeks in a row. No drops. He killed them underneath with them beautiful spirals on the numbers from 10. Yeah, Lou Boy's a picket hater. I have nothing. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. I don't know how Nick's going to feel about this one. <laughs> you, you, you took that. That's a picket hater by that comment, man? I know. That comment said picket hater. I've seen hater. his other work. That comment said, I, I've seen his other words. That, that was a TG. That was a TG little backhanded compliment. No, that, was, that wasn't a backhanded compliment. Well, he wasn't was even complimenting a, that Pickett. Was just, that was just but. a beautiful compliment for Mitch Trubisky. Tata's 10, Money Mitch, whatever we want to call him. That's all that was. That was just a compliment to him, man. He won't talk about your boy. No, no, no. I disagree. He won't throw in beautiful spirals? No, Mitch played good. No, it's just the thought that Kenny can't do what Mitch did yesterday. It's oh, just no, no, unbelievable it's, to me. I, you know me. I would not bring it up if it wasn't brought up to me by multiple Mitch people really good. to make me uh, want it to. I like what Mitch like, did. It was to the point where I'm just, I had to stop and I'm like, bro, are we like, how did we get here from this performance? Like, how is this a Kenny can't do because of what we saw Mitch do today? Like, I didn't enjoy yeah, that. Mitch was out there playing yeah. like Mahomes, throwing for 400 yeah. yards and four touchdowns. Like, this yeah. is, am I wrong? This is a different conversation. I would but. agree, but that wasn't the case this <laughs> week or last week. He played good, but it wasn't nothing that was like, yo, this is God tier, but there's, yeah. I, I think from the last two weeks, yeah. sitting here today on Monday, I'm just like, yeah, this is yeah. why Pickett's our QB1, if anything. It's like, yeah. Mitch is the backup, but we're rolling with Pickett. 
He did everything that we think Pickett can do, but obviously, like I said, the upside, the growth, the the potential that Pickett has, and that added mobility. Too. Yes, the mobility definitely helps. Absolutely. That corner says Draft Kings Sports Book. Yeah, no, America's top rated sports booking app. And ladies and gentlemen, they are the best in the business, man. In terms of same game parlays, in terms of just being able to make a player prop bet. You know, things like that. Having the flexibility to get paid on time. Who doesn't want to get paid on time? And at the same time, man, just being able to have versatility to look and um, just combine whether it's, like I said, the same game parlay or multiple game parlays, uh, just anything that you're looking for. This is a beautiful site, and that's why we do. That's the one. Prayer. I was like, yo, what's the other one? The player prop one. Shout out to my dog, Deke, as well. Futures. Futures. You can't go wrong with Futures either, man. You want to bet on the MVP award, offensive player of the year, all that Mm -hmm. stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. And more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we got the promo code. And that promo code is MOAT. So when you download the app and you make your first wager, when you put in as simple as $5 and use the promo code MOAT, you will receive $200 in free bets instantly. That's what we call Draft the Kings deposit bonus money right there. Who doesn't love a little deposit bonus money? It's a good situation. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But we also understand that at times, man, you could overdo it. You mm-hmm. could definitely overdo it. I've overdone it at times, Deke. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Sometimes I get a little chaotic, man. And when that happens, you know, that's what we like to call maybe a gambling problem. Or maybe that person might be in a crisis and they need some counseling. Or maybe they just simply need referral services. And if that person lives in New York, which, you know, I'm very fond of that part of the country, New York, it's a number up there that you could call or text. But if you're located anywhere else, the number you should dial is 1-800-GAMBLER. I said 1-800-GAMBLER. 